Hello and welcome to a new SpectMorph video tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to use the new instrument editor which is available since SpectMorph 0.5.0. With the instrument editor you can load your own samples and build your own instrument. And of course you can use them to create new sounds by morphing. Let's get started. This is the Bitwig user interface and I've prepared a small clip with some chords. For this part we want to create a user defined instrument which we morph with an instrument shipped with SpecMorph. <laughs> The first step is to open the SpectMorph window like this. As we can see, currently this performs morphing of two instruments, Mirko O and saxophone, using the unison effect. To create a user defined instrument, we create a new wave source using the Add Operator menu. There are 128 slots. And each slot can contain one instrument created by you. It is important that you choose an empty position for each new instrument. Suppose you assigned number 7 for an instrument based on a vocal sample. Whenever you use SpectMorph, slot number 7 will contain this instrument. As long as you are experimenting with a new instrument, you can change it in any way you like. However, as soon as you start using the instrument in a song, you should never change it again. Let's use position 1, which currently contains no instrument. Now we load a sample, the basic building block for our new instrument. So I click on File and then on Add Sample. And now you can pick an audio file. Every new sample will be analyzed by SpectMorph first. This may take a moment. Let's compare the original sample with how SpectMorph would reproduce the sound. First we select Playback and Original Sample. And press Space. You can also use the Play button, this doesn't make any difference. This was the original sample and now we play the SpectMorph version. There is almost no difference between the original sample and the SpecMorph version. Good conditions for morphing this sounds later on. The next step is to cut the sample to avoid silence at the beginning. We drag this marker approximately to the position where the sound starts. And with the zoom function we can do it a bit more precisely. Now we define a loop for the sample. We open the menu and there are three loop modes. Let's start with single frame. Like the name indicates, a single frame will be repeated again and again once the loop is playing. For this sample this is not the best option since the sound is now lifeless. Now we can try a forward loop. Here are two loop markers which we can move. Let's try a few things. Second try. Mm, somewhat better. And almost perfect. We don't have to find the exactly right time points here. The SpectMorph analysis synthesis method only needs loop points that are approximately correct. We can compare this to samplers that replay the sample data directly where the loop points must be at the exactly perfect position to avoid clicks. 
There is a third loop mode, the ping pong loop. This produces interesting effects, for instance on speech samples. Play once more. As you see, the cursor gets stuck between the two loop markers and keeps going forwards and backwards again and again. As next step you can assign a name to the instrument. Let's say Demo 1. At this point you should also enable a volume normalization. This is done with the Auto Volume checkbox. Volume normalization is important because it ensures that during morphing your instrument is played at the same volume like the other instruments that already exist. Now we need to assign the correct pitch. Specmorph needs to know which pitch your sample has to transpose it correctly up and down during synthesis. We click on Edit here. Which opens this amazing window with 9 octaves and with space you play the sample. And while you are playing the sample you can click on a reference sound until you have found the correct pitch. Simply double click on the correct MIDI note. Done. Ok, at this point we already have everything that is required for our instrument. We close the instrument editor and click on save in the dialog. As first test we want to play our new instrument with the notes we have prepared. To do this we set the source of the output to wave source number 1. We click on the Bitwig window and use space to play the clip we have prepared. This sounds quite nice. But originally our goal was to morph our new instrument with another instrument. To do this we have to select Linear 1 as output again. Now you see here that Source A and Source B are used for morphing. In Source A I select my wave source and we keep Mirko O as Source B. Morphing between the two sounds like this. Alright, this sounds quite nice. The transitions are smooth and everyone is happy. Now we use a sample where things don't work so well. I go through the steps somewhat more quickly. Click on the wave source instrument, pick an empty slot, click edit, then add and select the sample. This is a classic fat synthetic saw wave. It sounds like this. And Specmorph reproduces the sound like this. The reproduced sound is somewhat noisy. This will be the problem during morphing later on. For now we just continue. Loop mode. Ping pong. Set loop markers. Play again. Rename. Demo 2. Auto volume and then the pitch. This is probably E3. Close and save. And replay our new instrument without morphing. So we choose wave source number 1 as output and click on the Bitwig window. Space. With morphing this sounds like this. Linear 1 and play. Wow! 
why does this instrument sound bad? We can compare the spectrogram of the two samples to get an idea. On the left side we can see the spectrogram of the first demo sound and on the right side the second one. Each of these horizontal lines represent one partial of the sound. As you can see, the left sound has a highly regular partial structure. SpectMorph can easily build a very good model of the sound. The second sound is a fat synthetic saw wave. The picture of the right spectrogram seems slightly similar to the left one, but the higher partials are somewhat blurred. This causes problems for SpectMorph. If we try to reproduce or morph such a sound, the quality will be poor. And now, have fun with inventing your own instruments.